Hey guys, Magenta is back here today again with another Future Cup Body Fat product opening and this time I'm super happy to be with you guys here today to bring uh, this new special series volume 1 Future Cup Body Fat Ace which is called Lost Dimension over here so uh, with uh, Body Fight Ace, uh, Bushu has created new mechanics to the game known as Lost Pearl so let's take a look at Lost Pearl over here you cannot choose Lost Pearl as your initial flag and all flags all, all flags may have only two of this card. You may use Lost World cards. This card gets a ability of the cards chosen by Be Lost. And Be Lost at the end of your opponent's turn, choose one of the flag, pay two gauge, and put this hand card on top of the chosen card. Remove your deck from a fight. Shuffle the Lost deck into your fight, and you may only use this once per fight. So basically, uh, so basically, now you will have a new extra deck of 30 cards that you can only use after you draw into your lost world and use the ability be lost and cover your flag with it so without further ado let's get on with the product opening itself so a uh, really cool uh, mechanic that Bushu has came up with and I'm really excited to be playing because different decks interact with lost world pretty differently but of course uh, lost world comes with their own deck which is a uh, also comes with their own deck, which is uh, the Dimension Dragon deck, which uh, has a lot of searching ability uh, in order for you to get out your Lost World quickly. So what you get in the box, you get this... Uh, you get a life counter featuring Ranma. And then there's a rule sheet. What's this? There's a rule plus some comics at the back. Yes, okay, not interesting. Okay, moving on. It's the play mat. Uh, yeah, so that's like the other stuff. So, so Lost, Lost World cards actually have a different, uh, different card back than normal cards. So this is different card back from normal cards. And then... Uh, when you play in tournaments, you have to use uh, different sleeves for your lost deck and, uh, compared to your main deck, I mean. So, yeah. So, you got three piles. One with this guy. One with the Lost World flag. So, let's just open it. Let's just open it from the Lost World flag. So, we get Lost World. You cannot choose Lost World, uh, blah, blah, blah. We have done that. Two copies. So, these... Uh, the Lost World Flags have a normal deck so because you run them in your original deck so you can only run two copies so they give you two copies so two copies of uh, Lost World Flag and then we have our size 3 four copies Dimension Dragon Lime Magia Pion Cage put the top two cards of the deck into the soul 7k power 2 crits 7k defense if your flag is Lost World this card gets triple attack choose a monster on your opponent's field you may drop a card from Drop a soul from this card and destroy a chosen card. So basically, you are wondering how that uh, how how does this card get triple attack? So basically, after you convert yourself to Lost World, your monsters, your gauge all remain in the same place, and of course your hand as well. So if this card is in your hand or on your field after you change your Lost World, it gets triple attack, which is pretty solid. But uh, I don't think this will see any play because people want cards that actually get you to Lost World faster because Lost World, Lost World has really really strong monsters. So moving on, 4 copies of Dimension Dragon Apostle. When this card is destroyed, you can charge 2 gauge or gain 2 life. Simple. Next, 3 copies of Dimension Dragon Apliotos. Aplistos. Alright, we got it. Alright, pure engage. When this card enters the field, look at top 3 cards, put one Dimension Dragon monster or Lost World from a man in your hand and drop the rest. So, this is a size 2 monster. Because if it's size 1, it'll be too OP. You can call 3 of them and then cast something like Gambit or Force Return and then you can search again. But despite being a size 2, it's still pretty good. You can call 1 and then you can cast Gambit, uh, which returns it to your hand and then you can call it again and then you can cast Force Return. And basically, you can keep on searching for your Lost World flag, or you can look for your other stuff. So moving on, four copies of Dimension Dragon Pydia. When this card is destroyed, put one Dimension Dragon item from your deck into your hand and shuffle your deck. 
So the item is actually really strong, we'll see it later. But uh, for now, just know that it's really really strong. Dimension Dragon, Primada. When this card enters the field with another Dimension Dragon on a field draw one card, pretty solid. 3 copies of uh, Dimension Dragon, Olexi. At the start of each player's attack phase, put the top card of the deck into your gauge and gain one life. So basically 3 pluses unless your opponent destroys it. 2 copies of Lost of D. Put a Dimension Monster or Lost World from your drop zone into your hand. Solid. So that's it for the first pile. Moving on to the second pile, we have uh, Demonic Dragon Release Vanity Husk Destroyer over here. So let's take a look what this pile has. So this is actually the supposed buddy monster. So if your buddy monster is a Lost World card, it will be face down until when, until you uh, change your flag into a Lost World. So oh, actually the card back feels significantly different from the original card back. So anyway, what this card does is, this card on field cannot be destroyed by your opponent's card effects. When this card attacks, destroy or return to hand a card on your opponent's field. Double attack. 30,000 power, 3 criticals and 10k defense. Basically, Lost World monsters are all overstated and uh, they do not have a uh, size. So basically, you can call 3 of these at once. So that's our buddy monster over there. And uh, Dragon Wolf back and back. Moving on, Dimension Dragon Eschimos. When this card enters the field, you gain one life for each Dimension Dragon monster in the field. Basically, you can gain two life if you have a full field, which is not that strong. Now, moving on to the spells. Really interesting. Bushwood decide to give many, many good spells in the deck. So, let's get on with it. Two copies of Dragonic Charge Plus. Charge two gauge, then if your life is five or less, you can charge another three gauge. So one card for five gauge, that's really strong, stronger than hyper energy, but have to be at five life or less. Moving on, two copies of Demon Lords, Robbing Dragon Blast, pay two gauge, destroy all monsters on your opponent's field, and draw a card for each. So basically, if your opponent has three monsters, you can draw three with two gauge and you get to destroy their monsters. Really, really strong. D Death Struggle, destroy a dimension monster on your field, press the card on your opponent's field. So synergizes well with Dimension Dragon. Basically, you want to tank up the early game. So you have cards like these. Uh, basically, you can call monsters to your center. You absorb the first attack. But if your opponent has Penetrate, you can use these kind of cards to destroy that monster. And then uh, basically, you won't be taking the Penetrate. Four copies of Blue Dragon Shield. Standard. And four copies of Green Dragon Shield. First time. First time Bushu is so kind to give you eight shields in a trial deck. I mean... This is not exactly a trial, it's a special series which costs freaking 30 over dollars. So I got it for $36. Uh, if you can pre order it, it will be around uh, 33 Yeah, somewhere there. Two copies of Dragon Trap, pay one gauge, pay two life, choose a card of Chrome's Field. For this turn, the chosen card cannot attack. So basically, this is not a rest effect, so it's really strong against cards that cannot be rested. And especially good against cards that can attack many, many times, such as the Hextopple attack. Uh, butts. So speaking of the item, here it is. Four copies of this item. Dimension Spirit Gun, Cratcher. Equip cost pay on life, 5k power 1 crit. Counter act during attack phase, choose a dimension dragon monster on the field and rest this card. If you do stand the chosen card and draw a card. So basically you can attack additional one time with a dimension dragon monster, which is really strong because uh after you get into your lost world, the dimension monsters dimension dragon monsters which are the Lost World monsters, they are really really strong, have really really high criticals so resting your item and uh, standing that card is like additional like 5 damage or something and the fact that it allows you to draw a card is really good so, so this is the Lost World extra deck we have 4 copies of this uh, 4 copies, Bistol Bistol Fedwal you gain. 80,000 power, 8 crits and 8k power 8k defense, pay one gauge, put the top card of the deck into soul, soul guard. Really, really strong. It's just like the the drum bunch dragon standard. There's nothing to it but uh, 8 crits and soul guard. Moving on, 2 copies of uh, Hanel Kant Dorf. Penetrate, 50k power, 5 crits, 10k defense. That's the penetrate monster of the deck. But uh, pretty weak because you can, you can basically destroy this monster. Alright, take note that uh, this Lost World monsters, they can't be affected by, because they don't have size, uh, cards that, like, death grip, that destroys a size 2 or less monster, or whatever things that specify size, it doesn't work on uh, Lost World monsters. So, 4 copies of a Vine monster, which we went through just now. And, uh, 
three copies of this six quick move Zorun Zorken. Now one copy Arpo Pedular Ped Pedualer. Okay. 20k power, 3 crits, 10k defense. Uh, put 2 cards from drop zone into his soul, pay on gauge, penetrate, double attack, soul guard, counter attack. 2 copies. Do gain Zashis. Z. Sai. Okay, anyway, this card enters the field. Modify all abilities of a card on your opponent's field and destroy it. Double attack. 10k power, 2 crits, 10k defense. It's the worst stat in this whole. in this, all these monsters, but it's really, really good because you can just. Like against um, against like soul guard decks, you just nullify the ability and just bomb that single monster and they would be dead. Moving on to the spells, one copy of Dimension Life Stream. So this this card is actually a money card. So everyone is looking for this card. Because it's so freaking overpowered. As in I mean uh it's really really good. Mm, usable, usable in many occasions. So you can gain ten, 10 life, or your opponent's life becomes ten. So simple card, but ten life for one card, or setting your opponent's life to ten is really good, and especially strong against the uh, Agito decks because they they can gain a lot of life with Haru Haru. So just set their life to ten and hit them once with the eight crit monster, and they are probably done for. One copy. Two copies of Dimension Revive. Call a monster from a drop zone of paying its call cost and that monster gets two crit. So it works on any monster, so if you are running this in a Thunder Empire deck, you can call your Hextopple attack butts with this card and it gets two crit, so it's four crit Hextopple attack, that's 24 damage. Two copies of Dimension Mirror, nullify the attack deal damage to your opponent equal to the total crit of all attacking monsters. Really really solid, so basically against, when a, in a Lost World Mirror match, you just have to use this and burn your opponent for like eight damage. No copy of Dimension Jamming, also another money card. Your opponent chooses and drop two hand cards, you may cast this once per turn. So it's a really really good card, I I personally love it. And because the discard mechanic is one of my favorite, so like God Punk is focusing on this card as well. So when you combine this with God Punk and the members only card club dead deity, uh if you use that and basically you, you force your opponent to go to one card and every turn they will they will discard the card that they draw, so basically it's limiting your opponent's options and you will basically get a free win after that. Two copies of Dimension Revenge, uh, 10k power, 10 crit. Wait, is this 10? No, it's 100. 100k power, 100k defense, counter attack. Basically, Drago Energy on steroids and on steroids again. Okay, moving on. Two copies of Dimension Shadow Gate. If you attack, your opponent pay one life if they do not nullify the attack. Basically, Really good for decks that have to attack many many times. Agito, Bats, and even the new, uh, the new, uh, your Dragot and your Katana World Dragot as well. Pretty solid. Two copies of our item. 10k power, 5 crits, penetrate. Simple. So the, the other item is really really strong. It has 10k power, 2 crits, and it has uh, double attack. And it has the ability to uh, uh, drop one of your opponent's hand cards and you can draw one card. So basically it's a minus two net. Okay, our impact card here. You may only cast this if your opponent has five or less life. Do five damage to your opponent, two copies. And at no cost, that's the power of Lost World cards, I guess. So Lost World is so strong. So don't be kind of wondering how does a... Uh, how does our main character Yuga defeat uh, his best friend Ranma without using the power of Lost World? I mean, are these vanilla monsters gonna do it against Lost World? Anyway, in the in real life, in real life, Lost World is gonna shift the meta. Everyone's gonna be using it because if you don't use it, you're basically setting yourself at a disadvantage. So, uh, this starter deck is pretty pretty strong. Like, you can just buy it, and then you can you can take the Lost World flag. And then you can put it into whatever deck you have. So Electro Deity Lost World is pretty strong and uh, actually many many decks work. Uh, Folktale works as well. Uh, God Plank works as well. So basically, uh, yeah, that's it for this product opening and review. 
So hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like down below, show me some support. If you're new to my channel, subscribe if you'd like to see more body fight deck profiles, card reviews and stuff like that. Anyway, stay tuned to more product openings. Uh, I'll be opening another I'll open I'll be opening uh the new booster set which will come out somewhere in November I guess. And doing more deck profiles as well. Uh, my mobile aerial team deck profile is coming up soon. So stay tuned to my channel for that and see you in the next video. Take care, bye!